Today, I'm showing you how to make a Cajun seafood boil. This dish is packed with seafood, spice, butter, and more. And the best part is, we're using an Instapot today to make it all at home extremely easily. So you can make this delicious dish without needing lots of equipment. Enjoy this with your family and friends on the back deck because this seafood boil smells so good, it'll reach all the way down into your basement. We got mussels, shrimp, crab, sausage, and so much more. Today's recipe fills up an entire pan large enough to feed about four to six people, making it a perfect idea for a party, family gathering, or special event. We'll top it all off with a Cajun butter sauce that just coats every bite and we'll have you racing to give this one a try. Let's get cooking. Chop one onion. Chop 18 inches of beef sausage. Chop two cobs of corn into six pieces. Saute the onion and sausage. Add one cup of water and 12 ounces of a Corona beer. Add three cloves of garlic, one and a half tablespoons of lemon pepper seasoning, one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning, two tablespoons of Louisiana hot sauce, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Mix it all together. Add our corn. red baby potatoes, then pressure cook on high for five minutes. While we wait, let's make our butter sauce. Two cloves of crushed garlic with one juice lemon along with one stick of butter. I use the microwave to melt it down, but you can use a stove if you like. Then add one and a half tablespoons of Cajun seasoning. Back to the boil. Release the pressure after five minutes. Add 16 ounces of snow crab legs. Allow to pressure cook on high for five minutes. Then release the pressure and add 12 ounces of extra large shrimp and 16 ounces of mussels. Pressure cook on high for five more minutes. Finish our butter sauce with one and a half tablespoons of smoked paprika and one quarter cup of chopped parsley. Mix it all together. Back to our boil. Release the pressure after five minutes and drain in the sink. I recommend distributing it all into two bowls as it makes the butter sauce coat and mix better. Add one chopped lemon. Then we'll toss in our butter sauce to both bowls. We can then pour this all out onto a very large tray. And boom, we have a magnificent Cajun seafood boil. That Cajun butter sauce really just gets everywhere and coats everything with a delicious buttery flavor and all that seafood in the Instapot just melts together so well. There's enough food here to feed the family and friends. Whether you like to spend your summer outside or are stuck in the basement, this seafood boil will surely get everyone to the dinner table. There's something for everyone in this dish. The lemon also just adds an acidity that helps contrast the Cajun spice and seafood mixture. This is such a colorful but impressive dish to come from in an instant pot. You can of course use a more traditional large pot and stove if you like, 
If you're hungry watching this, then be sure to like and subscribe to keep these videos going. Today's Cajun seafood boil recipe ingredients are listed here. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite seafood dish is.